Hi everyone, today we're making lamb shanks in an instant pot. I went out and bought one finally. I do have a regular pressure cooker, but I decided to get the instant pot. A lot of people were asking me about recipes for that, so I decided, ah, what the heck? I saw it at Costco, it was a great deal. So today we're using it and we're making some delicious lamb shanks that are just fall off the bone tender. You're gonna love it. We're using some wine and all kinds of good stuff that I can't wait to show you. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after this. So before I go over the ingredients, I just want to mention that if you don't have an instant pot or a pressure cooker, you can still make this recipe. It will still turn out wonderful. It'll just take a little bit longer because you're going to cook it low and slow. And you can do it on the stove or you can do it in your oven. All right, so that taken care of. Let's go over the ingredients. First up, we have our lamb shanks. So I bought some here. These are, you know, I tried to find the smaller ones. The younger the lamb, the less gamey it's going to be, and it's hard to tell, but I just went with the smaller ones, hoping they would be younger. We have our flavor base here, which consists of, I got some sliced carrots, some finely diced onions and celery, which we're gonna saute. I've got some tomato paste over here, lots of garlic, lots of fresh garlic for this. Fresh herbs, I've got rosemary, thyme, and basil. Really helps with the flavor, guys. And we'll need some salt and pepper, of course. For our liquids, I'm using some beef broth, red wine, and a little bit of olive oil. So to start off, I took the lamb shanks out of the packaging onto a paper towel covered plate. And then you wanna pat them dry because they're, you know, they're moist from, you know, the packaging and whatnot. And you wanna dry them off so that they will brown up nicely in the Instant Pot. Now my Instant Pot isn't that big, so we're gonna probably do two at a time. That's my plan anyway. Now I turned the Instant Pot on, and what I hit was the saute button right here, and it said on, and now it's said hot. So that means we are ready to start sauteing and searing, searing these guys up. But first, I wanna put a little salt and pepper on them. Put a little pepper on there. Now I'm gonna place some olive oil in the bottom of the pan. Makes it hard to show you guys what's going on, but about a teaspoon or so, it looks nice and hot. And like I said, I'm only gonna be able to fit a couple of these in there and I'm gonna do them uh, season side down. Now you can season the other side you now because I put them season side down. So we're just going to let that sear for, like I said, just a few minutes and then we'll flip them over. We want to kind of just brown them all the way around. What that's going to do is put a lot of flavor into our pot. Now if you want to, you could do your searing of the, of the lamb shanks on the stove in a different you know, pan, like a frying pan, if you wanted to. I just wanted to do everything and show you that you could do everything in the Instant Pot. You don't have a lot of control with temperature here. That's the only thing I don't like. So probably I, I would consider doing it on the stove as well in another pan. You can see there we got a little brown going on. It just takes a little bit longer because, like I said, you don't have control. You just set the... You set it on saute and you just go with it. After about eight minutes or so of searing these, take them out and place them. I have a dish right here. I'm just gonna place them right in here and then we'll do the next two. And we'll just keep doing that until they're all browned up. And I'll keep these guys covered so they stay nice and warm. So in goes our next batch. All right, so we're done browning these. So I'm gonna place them into my dish over here, get them out of the Instant Pot so that we can now brown up or saute our onions and celery. So you might have to add a little more olive oil to the dish or to the pan here. And we're still on saute. So I'm gonna to toss in those onions. You can hear them sizzle. And we'll throw in the celery. 
Now this is our flavor base, remember? I'm going to add the carrots in a little bit, but I'm going to let these go first. All right, so while we're over here sauteing our onions and celery, I just want to take a moment to say, you know, take the time to do that extra step of searing your lamb shanks and sauteing your onions and your celery. It's going to make your dish taste just a little bit better. It's really worth it because you're just developing more flavors. You're putting more layers of flavor in there by doing that. Sure, you could just dump everything in the pot, turn it on, and, you know, wait till it's done. But it's not going to have the, the depth of flavor that you're going to get when you take these extra little steps. So I hope you do that. And if you're enjoying this video, now would be a great time to subscribe to my channel and click that uh, notification bell. That way you'll be notified when my new videos come out every week. All right, you can see the onions and the celery have cooked down a bit. I'm going to toss in the carrots at this point. And I'm going to add just a little bit more olive oil to this because it looks like it's getting a little dry. So I just put some in the middle there. It'll heat up real quick. I'm going to cook this for just another minute or so. Then we're going to add the garlic. And then after we do that, everything goes in the pot. Next goes the garlic. I'm going to stir that in, cook it for just one minute, and then we're going to put everything in the pot. Okay, so I'm making a little hole right in the middle of the pan there so that I can put my tomato paste in there right directly on the heat. I want it to just kind of heat up a little bit, and uh, it's going to caramelize the sugars in that a little bit. I'm just going to do this for just like a minute or so. All right, I'm going to start adding the lamb shanks back in. I'm going to dump in the beef broth, the red wine. Now be mindful of your maximum fill line. Here's the thyme and the rosemary and the basil. Okay, I'm going to place the lid on. I'm assuming that most of you have these have one. I have this on the vent setting and then I'm going to close the thing. I'm going to put it on seal. Pressure cook. And we're going to cook this for 38 minutes. The Instant Pot was done at 38 minutes and then I just let it sit for another 15 so it did a natural release of the pressure. And then I kind of encouraged it after that a little bit by putting it on the um, release thing. So here's what it looks like. And you can see it looks pretty darn good. I'm gonna take the shanks out, place them in this dish, and I'm gonna put the sauce on for just a few more minutes on saute or simmer, and hopefully reduce it down a little bit, add a little bit of salt if we need to, we can taste it and see what we need. All right, so our our dinner is ready. I heated up some of my mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna put some of those on my dish. Before I scoop some up here, I wanna take some of this sauce. Let's turn that off now. And I'm just gonna pour it right over my lamb shanks. This is great for a nice wintry fall evening. Nice, it's like a big stew. Look at that, it's awesome. And then we can serve this up on, oh, that's a giant one. Let's take this smaller one here. Place this on our dish. The meat is just falling off the bone, guys. Just, it's beautiful, though. Put some of the sauce over my dish, just for a little extra. It's always the sauce, in my view, that makes it. Let's see if we can show you here how nice and tender. Look at this, just falling apart. Look at that. Look at that, just, oh, it's beautiful. Maybe get a carrot in there with that. I have to say it, it's delicious, guys. You gotta try this. Uh, the sauce is, that wine sauce is just beautiful. It really is. And the meat is like fall off the bone tender. You're gonna love that. It's just so nice. Hope you try it. Well, I hope you enjoyed my lamb shank recipe today in the Instant Pot. One thing I will say is personally, I think I would prefer to saute and sear the lamb shanks on the stove in a separate pan just because I like more control over my heat. With the Instant Pot, you know, you can't control it. It's saute, it's just whatever it is. 
and that's okay, it did work, you know, and it turned out very, very good. So, I mean, it does work, but just as a cook, I prefer to be able to control my temperature on a, on a gas stove. And I like to have a little more room. So, but that being said, this worked great. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and, uh, you know, give me a thumbs up for it and uh, give me, leave me a comment down below. I'd like to hear from you. And if you know anybody who is either a, you know, lamb fan who loves lamb recipes, please share it with them or somebody who owns an Instant Pot or even a pressure cooker. I think they'd really appreciate it. So thanks again. We'll see you next time.